so what is the greatest risk to your leadership? Uh, if you think it's about failing, you're wrong. But I'll be back in five seconds with the answer. Hi everybody, I'm Ross Schaefer and we just finished an informal round table at this trade conference. I think you would have loved it. And I'll get to it in a second, but first I wanna thank you for finding the Relevant Leaders Club where each week I post a new video to help you grow your business or your career. So let me get into the meat of this discussion. Right now, the US election is over and half of you are probably angry about the outcome. And I'm sorry for how you feel. And I'm also sorry for those of you who are happy because we all had to endure the relentless name calling, the, the resurrection of decades old embarrassing video clips and the campaign ads that assassinated the character of each candidate. Hillary was crooked, Donald was creepy. And, and that is a lesson we can take away from the slop we've seen for 18 months. Your greatest risk isn't about failing financially. As we saw in the election cycle, the danger is about how you are perceived by the people you lead. And that perception can be defined by every emotional outburst you've ever displayed via email or posted on social media. Because when you turn your thoughts into electronic data, you become a public figure whose, whose reputation is at risk of going viral. I mean, look around you. Billions of cell phones can record every bad judgment you've ever made. Every nasty email you've sent lives forever up there in the cloud. I mean, you can try to delete it or destroy your own devices, but you've sent those texts and those emails to other people, so they still have them, and they can share them whenever they want. So from now on, you should assume that everything you say and everything you do will be recorded and then played back to you maybe 10 years from now. You should assume that everything you write will be shared with people you don't want to see it. As leaders, think before you speak and write. Be sensible about who and how you share your emotions. I mean, when we were kids, if we lashed out in anger, we could say, I'm sorry, I, I take it back. But that doesn't work anymore, does it? If you send your anger into cyberspace, there is no taking that back. My father, Chuck Schaefer, used to tell me, he said, you, you think you get away with stuff in this life, but you need to know that you're never invisible. I hear everything you do from people, Ross, you don't even know. Now, I will say I'm proud of you when I get a good report from people you didn't even think were watching you. Okay, well, let's assume the world is always watching us. Don't risk your leadership reputation on a hot temper or a vicious email because there's a good chance that your moment of temper is going to come back and haunt you. Or worse, embarrass your career or your family. And think about what you saw and heard during the uh, 2016 election. I'm sure you were pretty disgusted that your children had to see that kind of behavior from someone who became our president. Now, the more important question is about your behavior. Would you want your children to see and hear what you say and do when you don't think your kids are watching? All right, if you like what you've heard, uh, please subscribe and you'll get these videos every week in your inbox. And leave a comment down below so that other people in our Leaders Club can learn from your experience. We have other videos for you to watch, of course, and I'd encourage you to get our free ebook. You just download it by clicking it right down there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Ross Schaefer, and I'll see you next week as we're bringing back that typing chimp. <laughs>